Uh, hello, my name is Marcel Lava. I live in Campbellton, uh, New Brunswick, Canada. I'd like to introduce you to the Lava method of building stick fuselages. This is an idea that I came up with uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, it's uh, using the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. So I'd like to, to do, use that principle wherever I go. Uh, he, about 10 years ago, he came up with a method of building stick fuselages by lifting up the elandra on the bottom one and the top one and uh, sliding a strip of balsa wood under to mark the correct angles and the correct lengths. And also with some simple tools to do the job. So we can turn to those tools right now. So starting with the small stuff uh, for peanut models and other small models, uh, simply a length of razor blade glued onto the end of a popsicle stick, a craft stick. That's sticking out about 5 sixty-fourths of an inch, so that when I put it on a strip of 1 16th square, just go down, we get a nice neat cut. Then for uh, bigger pieces of wood in 3 30 seconds and 1 8, I have what I call a marker cutter. We have to mark the strip uh, to the proper angle, so a marker. And then after it's marked, we go to the cutting end, which is uh, a blade sandwich between two of these craft sticks. And again, we mark it this way, then just switch it in for end to come down. For larger uh, models, and I, I'm not into that, but still, uh, I have something here that uh, works for a 3 16th square and 1 quarter inch square. I have the same uh, blade uh, sandwiched between two of these uh, tongue depressors, which I got from my doctor the other day. At the other end, the marker uh, sticks out about a 30 second. And rather than a blade there, I made it a bit thicker using uh, these, uh, the spring steel material from floppy disks. Uh, old floppy disks are sometimes lying around there and I put some to good use. I'll talk about this cutter lately. It does both the job of cutting and marking. Then these two dowel affairs have holes drilled in the end and uh, the idea is that if I take one of these building blocks, there's a new term for us, this is going to go in about so far. Now let's see, let me try another one here. Okay, so that's about how far it's going to go into the, uh, the building board. And by the way, uh, what I use for a building board is a gypsum wall board. It uh, takes the pins very easily. I've got a few sizes of these blocks, 3 16 square, a quarter inch square, and a uh, half inch square. Now, the uh, 3 16 I use those for the 1 16 uh, square material. The quarter inch ones for the 3 30 seconds and 1 8. And the bigger ones for 3 16 and 1 quarter inch wood. There's a, a way to cut the wood uh, sometimes that you don't have to use these, uh, these end grain blocks as I call them. But uh, sometimes it's better to use the end grain block and to take a stick and put it on this and just come down and you, you can see just uh, it's standing there the blade goes into the end grain and it's easier on the blade the blade will last longer these these tools by the way are not going to last a lifetime uh, but uh, I don't suppose regular razor blades last a lifetime either uh, craft sticks, regular pop, uh, craft sticks, popsicle sticks uh, Razor blades. With, I've got a Wilkinson here, a Menor. Use blades uh, or new blades from cheap uh, razors like this. Those can do uh, just fine. So uh, with that, that's about what we have in the way of tools. Tools is probably a pretty fancy word, a big word to use for these things, because they're also very easy to make and uh, and cheap. So. Uh, Let's call this the end of part one, uh, Stephanie, and we'll go to part two.